With well over half of the votes counted, Taiwan's ruling party looks set to declare victory in the island's presidential election. It'll be a historic third term for the Democratic Progressive Party. And it's a setback for China, which views the DPP as dangerous separatists. Live now to Stash Butler, who's in Taipei for Sky News. Stash, what are the latest results? Well, we're just hearing right now. We're currently at the DPP, the ruling party headquarters in Taipei, where the mood is is very upbeat. You can see the flags, the supporters there waving. Team Taiwan, read those flags. Various lawmakers from the DPP have taken to the stage to give speeches. They just celebrated passing five million votes. And while this is happening in New Taipei, the neighboring city, about 10 miles away, the opposition KMT candidate, Ho Yui, has just conceded defeat. We can bring you the latest results as they appear right now. Lai ching the ruling Democratic Progressive Party, in the low 40s. Ho Yui, the of the KMT, the more China-leaning, you could say, uh, perhaps, of the, the parties. He wanted to build stronger economic and cultural ties with Beijing. He's, he's in the low 30s. And behind him, the former mayor of Taipei, the maverick uh, former surgeon who mounted this dark horse bid for the pre presidency in the high 20s there. The KMT have conceded defeat. We're expecting Lai and his campaign to emerge uh, in the international press conference just behind this stage here at about 8.30 to speak to the gathered press there. It's a, it's a great moment for him and his party. The only sour note being that it appears his party has lost control of the legislature, which is going to make him make it, his time as president a lot harder, a little bit more difficult for him to govern. But it's a real setback for the opposition who'd hoped to take back the presidency from Tsai Ing-wen after two consecutive terms of the DPP in power. Well, Stash, now that we do most probably have a result, what does this mean for China-Taiwan relations? Well, we should be clear that China absolutely detests the ruling DPP, which it views as Taiwanese separatists. Now, Ta China claims Taiwan as its own and has not ruled out the use of force to take it. That's why Taiwan is spending so much money upgrading its defense against that Chinese threat. Now, in the past weeks and months, and indeed years, China has repeatedly flown uh, warplanes near Taiwan's air defense zone, also sailed warships near to its waters. With the continuity of the government here, that does look set to continue in some form or another. Is there going to be an escalation? We're going to have to wait and see uh, and what form that might take. The experts I've spoken to think that that might not be, there may not, may not be an immediate response from Beijing and it certainly wouldn't match the kind of military exercise we saw in the wake of Nancy Pelosi's visit to the island last year, or rather in, in 2022. But nonetheless, it's all about today, it's all about the voters in this young democracy celebrating yet another successful presidential election. Stash Butler, thank you for the update.